Hi, YouTubers and what YouTubers everywhere. It's MarketGeorgeSoon.com. I'm back with another video. This time around, it's a budget shave. Maybe you're considering trying the traditional wet shave with a double edge safety razor. And as you may know, the initial cost up front is a little more considerable than going out and buying a cartridge razor with some replaceable cartridges. That's very true, but in the long run, the cost actually goes down. However, you might be reluctant to try it because you don't want to spend that much in trying it out. So what I'm gonna show you is some options here that will get you to try the traditional wet shave for less than $40, at least $40, maybe no more than $50, depending on how you combine some of these products. Okay, the first thing is the razor. Today we're gonna to be using a Rishi safety razor. This is a gunmetal finish on the one that I have, but traditionally it comes with a chrome finish and it's on Amazon for a little more than $11. It comes with a travel case and also some Dorco razor blades, their standard razor blade. So right off the bat, you got a razor and some blades and also a travel case for a little more than $11. A very, very good option. This Weishi is very, very similar to the classic Gillette Super Speed. Now, this one right here belonged to my father. This was uh, my late father. This was this is twist to open, as is the Weishi twist to open. And you can see, you know, they're very similar. They're very similar in the way they're made. Now, the reason why I mentioned the super speed here is if you have one of these laying around, maybe your grandfather, your uncle, or whoever in the family may have left one of these behind, and you have it, you've got a free razor. These are wonderful. They really are. Uh, if you're going through an estate sale or a yard sale and you happen to see one of these for a couple of bucks, grab it because these are terrific razors. That will even bring your initial cost down even more. But if you want to go with new, uh, the Weishi is not a bad option at all. It's a good razor. It's similar to the Gillette Super Speed, so give that one a try. All right, for a brush, this is the Razor Rock Ivory 22. This brush is available on Italian Barber, and it is a synthetic brush. It's very, very soft. Doesn't have much backbone to it, but it's very, very soft. It will do a very nice job in creating a lather on your face, and it's only $10. And all the reviewers agree that this is a very, very good starter brush. So for $10, you've got a brush that will work for you quite well. In the way of soap, you've got a lot of different options here. If you want to stay really, really, you know, budget conscious, the Arco Shave Stick. You can get a couple of these on eBay for about 4 to $5, and that will come with free shipping. Uh, these are tallow-based. They make a lot of lather, gives you a lot of protection. Really very, very nice. And again, 4 or $5. You can't go wrong with something like this. All you do is open it up, wet your face, rub it all over, grab your brush, build a lather, you're good to go. Really a nice, nice option. The next option, if you don't want a tallow-based soap, is Parasso. Parasso, in this tub right here, 10 bucks. This is really a great value, and this doesn't have any towel in it. I guess you could call it a vegan-based soap if you want to. And you can see here, I've used quite a bit of it myself. And again, it's very, very good, and it's only $10. It comes with the bowl, so you can do all your lathering in this bowl and then continue lathering on your face. Very, very nice option. If you want to spend a little more and have something that's going to last a little longer in the long run, then I would go with Tabak. Tabak is about $16 on Amazon, but you get the soap, you get the ceramic bowl, you get that nice lid with it. It really is a terrific product, and it really does a great job in creating lather and giving you a lot of protection. Again, depending on what kind of soap you use, that's where your price is going to uh, go up or go down. However, you have to look at how long the soap is going to last you. This will last you a good year. The Parasso might not last you as long as that. The Arco Shave Stick, a couple of those, will last you probably close to a year, depending on how often you shave, and that sort of thing. But really, it really is long, long lasting. Now, as I mentioned with blades, uh, the Weishi Razor 
Comes with a travel kit, a travel case. It also comes with these Dorco standard razor blades. These are good. These are good for a beginner. Um, I like them. I use them. A hundred of them are like eight dollars. So you could buy a hundred more of these for eight dollars and you're good for the year depending on how often you shave and how many shaves you get out of this depending on your skin type. That varies. I like the Dorco Prime razor blades. These are a step up from the standard blade. They're a little thinner. They're a little sharper. They're still on the mild side. I like them a lot. You can get 10 of these on eBay for like $3.85, just under $4. So again, if you wanted to try this blade along with the others, it's only going to be an extra $3 or $4. And to finish it off, we're going to go with Clubman Panade Aftershave. You can buy this locally at Sally's Beauty or some other local drugstores for about six or seven dollars, sometimes even a little over five dollars if it's on sale. Amazon has it for about seven or eight dollars. eBay has it for that price, maybe a little less than that. So really, that's a, it's a really good cost-effective aftershave. It has a great old-school barbershop scent to it. Really very nice. If you want to follow that up with a moisturizer or an aftershave balm, then uh, uh, Avon Wild Country, you can get this on eBay for just a couple of bucks a tube, depending on how many you buy. And uh, I like this a lot. And the scent of the Wild Country is very, very similar to the Panade, so they won't conflict with one another. So there you have it. Depending on how you combine those, you'll be anywhere from $35 to just over $50. And if you were to stay with a Wishy Razor, the Arco Shave Stick, the Ivory 22 uh, Shaving Brush, and uh, what else? Uh, perhaps the Panade, you'll be under $40. Um, so really, it's uh, you know depending on what you want to buy, what you also have in your own medicine cabinet, uh, you know that sort of thing. So um, we're going to have a shave with the Wishy and with the, uh, use the brush, the Wishy, the Prime Blade, and I'm going to use the Tabak shave soap because I like that. And um, we're going to get right to it. I'm going, I've got a hot towel here soaking in water. I'm going to wring it out and I'm going to uh, moisten my face here because I showered earlier. So I need to moisten my face. The water is not hot, 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 but it is warm. So, oh, that's nice. Yeah. So I am going to. Very nice. Wow. That's good. Just let that warmth soak in. You don't want it to be so hot that it's going to scald your face. But you do want it to be warm so it opens up your pores and helps to soften your beard. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to wet my face. And I've got some good beard growth here. I'm going to open up my Wishy Razor. I'm going to get my Prime Blade here. Oh, this way. Here we go. Okay, so i got my Prime Razor Blade right there. Okay. Show it to you that way. My Dorco Prime. Again, these 100 of these are about $12, but you can get them on sale through Dorco's own website. And I got a hundred of them recently for just over seven bucks, which was uh, which was pretty darn good. So, okay, there it is. I'm locked down. I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. And we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot water on top of my Tabak soap here, just to soften it up a little bit. And I'm gonna soak my brush. Just a little bit, and I'm only going to give that a few seconds. I'm going to just, it, that'll be more than enough. I'm not going to run away from the camera here because that'll soften it up a little bit there. I'm going to just pour out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit, pour it out. That's good and soft. Just a little, like almost like a thimble full on top of 
on top of the soap there. And I'm going to pull this brush out and I'm going to wring it a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start building the lather here. And I'm going to go for about, say, 15, 20 seconds, something like that. And that should be more than enough for this soap. It's going to get a little sloppy here. It should be more than enough to load the brush and to build the lather. And again, these synthetic brushes are great. I love them a lot. Okay, ah, go a few more seconds here. That should have it. Okay, so I'm loaded up. Here, let me show you that. Loaded up. Here we go. Nice and soft. And you can see how it's immediately starting to build a lather. Great starter brush. And it is very, very soft. I was surprised how soft this brush was. It's called the Plissoft. P-L-I-S-S. OFT. I want to make sure I pronounced it right. <laughs> Spelled it off so you didn't think I was saying anything vulgar. Okay, here we go. Wow, look how quickly that lathered and built a lather. I mean, really, this Tabak is great stuff. Uh, I like tallow based soaps. If you're allergic to tallow or you don't, or you prefer not to use a tallow based soap, Rosso. It's a good one to go with. With the Tabak, you get that nice ceramic bowl, and really, it <laughs> you get a lot of soap for the money, and it should last you a good long year. It's got to. I mean, it's just amazing how much is in there, and just loading the brush a little bit, a little bit of water, and boom, you're off to the races. Okay, let me rinse my hands off here a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm gonna heat my razor up here. In hot, 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 hot water. And then I'm going to swirl it in the warmer water to bring it to temperature. Okay, so we're all set. All right, here we go. All right, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very, Nice how this razor is cutting through that lather. Really nice. Very, very good. Very good result, but it's also it's the Tabak that is giving it a good deal of help. Yeah, this is a very good starter razor. If you're on a budget, this is definitely a good one to go with. Very, very reminiscent of the Gillette Super Speed as I showed you. Has the same kind of feel to it. Makes a good choice for a travel razor too, because It'll give you a fine shave, and if you lose it or misplace it, you're not out a lot of money. Now, if you're a beginner and you're looking at this for the first time, you're going to have to do three passes because it's about... Gradual beard reduction, not getting the entire beard in one pass. And the razor head seems to be the right size to get it up under your nose and to get into uh, some of those tighter areas. Okay, let's rinse. Now the first pass was okay. It knocked down some beard, but again, I wasn't expecting anything spectacular from the razor because it is a budget razor, but it still puts you on the path, gets the process started to where the second pass should be much better. 
we're gonna sh gonna start lathering here for the second pass. And you can see I got plenty of cream in the brush. And this tabak is giving me a lot of protection. The Arco is equally as good. And I've done a video on Arco shave sticks. Also, the palm olive shave stick is very good. Palm olive shaving cream is another good budget choice. You can get a couple of tubes of that for about three or four bucks a tube from Europe via eBay, and they'll give you free shipping because over there it's, it costs even less. As does the Arco shave sticks. So. I mean, this is just terrific. I'm going to put a little bit we'll put a little more water here. Just a little more water to build a little more lather. Just a little more. There we go. Just to, just to give it a little more, a little more oomph on the skin, so to speak. Just going to build just a little more lather. Okay, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is the second pass. We're going to go east to west across the grain. I tend not to stretch my skin with my opposing hand. You may or may not want to do that, you know, just kind of grab your skin and then I don't do that. Especially when I do this right here, I try to flatten it out and get a nice flat plane. It tends to get everything. No problem getting up under the nostril with this at all. Right in there. It's really very maneuverable. Very, very nice. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, second pass was nice. Uh, I don't know if I would be ready for the office with uh, just two passes. Some of the other better razors that are about $35, $40, or a little more than that. Wow, you know, the way that they're made, for some reason you can get two passes and you're ready for the office. It just happens to just reduce the beard that much. Of course, your mileage may vary. With this particular razor, well, you know what? You're going to need three passes. But then again, depending on you, if you're a beginner, if you're a young guy especially, where you're not going to shave every day, two passes might be more than enough for you. For me, right now, yeah, I'm kind of borderline whether or not I want to go to the office with this or not. I could probably get away with it, but you know what? The third pass would probably clean me up nicely. So we're going to go up. We're going to go with the third pass. I may or may not need some touch-up after this. We'll see. But again, you understand that we're using a budget razor. And whereas the Wishi is a nice razor, well, yeah, like I say, does have some limitations here and there. Again, I have to stress, your mileage may vary. Some guys use the Wishi razor exclusively and they love it and it gives them the best shave of their life. Other guys, it's just so-so. Uh, again, it depends on who you are and your beard type, your skin type. However, what we're talking about here is saving some money. Trying out the traditional wash shave and saving some money. And that's what we're doing right here, right now. So, this is the third pass. We're going to go against the grain. And we should be good to go after that. We should be okay. Let's try it now. Yeah, it's cleaning up nicely. But that's also a good sign too. It's a little bit on the mild side. So if you're a beginner, 
you're not gonna, it's not gonna be a, a, such an aggressive razor, it's gonna tear up your face. Really, it really is a nice mild razor to learn with. I'm just checking to see, you know, because I'm shaking the water off it to make sure that the blade is still locked in place, and it is. So it really does a nice job of locking the blade, locking the blade down. Very, 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 very nice. Just finding some extraneous whiskers and high areas, that sort of thing. But I think I've got everything. I think I had a really nice shape. Let's rinse. All right. Well, you know what? That's nice. That's really, really nice. I'm going to do a final two rinses, one warm water, one cold water from the tap. Warm water to get off the residual. I was trying to do that just now, but doing it from the tap, you really do get all the soap off your face. And the top off is very slick. It has a nice slickness to it. So there is some residual slickness that stays that you want to get off. Okay, so we're going to do a cold water rinse now. Here we go. All right, got a fresh, clean towel waiting for me right here. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't feel any irritation. There are no nicks, no cuts. Very nice. Okay, so the Panade Clubman will tell the tale because if you have an overly aggressive shave, boy, this stuff's going to stink. Uh, if you have a mild shave, it won't stink as much. But still, it's got this great old school barbershop, barbershop scent that's um, really, really very, very nice. Good stuff. I really like this a lot. And again, not that expensive. No, not much. Just a little bit of feedback, which tells me it's a close shave. And it's not too aggressive. It's not too mild. I got a nice shave. And really, let's finish up with some of the Avon Wild Country aftershave balm because it is, even though it's warming up here a little bit, I still want to moisturize my skin. So let's use that. We'll wait for that to kind of dry off a little bit. Okay.
Go with a little bit upstairs. I shaved my head the other day, and boy, it just, it's really nice up there. And just maybe just to round it off just a little bit more right here. Make sure I get down on my neck here. Wow, nice shave, great shave, really, really nice. And look, you can do it too for less than $40. No more than $55, between $50 and $55 with some of the higher end soaps, Tabak and that sort of thing. Maybe adding the Dorco Prime razor blades. Boy, you can get away for about $40, $40 to $50, maybe a little more than that. If you really want to just really pinch your pennies, the Arco Shave Stick, use the blades that come with the Oishi razor. Get the $10 brush. Uh, if you want to forego the aftershave, well, you better get the aftershave. Um, you know, you'll be, you'll be under $40 easily. Um, I'll have links so you can check out the prices and add everything up. I think my math is correct. But even if it's $40 or leave it a little over that, wow, that is a really, really very, very good price. And the thing is, is that you'll get close to a year's worth of shaves. Uh, well, you have to add in, say, 100 razor blades, so costs will go up a little bit. So if it's about $40 with the 100 razor blades, you'll get about a, about a year's worth of shaves, which is a great introduction. It's a great set cost, great savings. You'll get some really nice shaves, and uh, you'll learn traditional wet shaving. So after you use the Weishi razor and you kind of get your feet wet and you like it, graduate to some really, really nice razors out there. Um, my favorite is the Vikings Blade Chieftain, which is another twist to open razor. This is beautiful. It's heavyweight. It's got great balance. It gives you a wonderful shave. It's right there in the sweet spot. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really very, very nice. Or you can get the longer handled version of that razor. It's the Vulcan. Very, very nice. And this one also has great weight and heft, terrific balance. I like it. I like it a lot. And of course, there are other soaps and creams and that sort of thing that you can move up to. You can try out adjustable razors, for instance, like the uh, Merker Future, which is another wonderful, beautiful heavyweight razor. That's a, that's a terrific razor. Or something like uh, the Worker Progress. It's another terrific razor, also. I mean, once you know that you that you like wet shaving, you can move away from the Weishi, put it aside as a travel razor, and get something really, really nice. That's going to give you a terrific shave, give you you know a wonderful shave in the morning, so that you look forward to your shave. You can try some other high-end soaps and creams. Although I think Tabak is a wonderful. I consider it to be a high end because it's just terrific stuff. You can try some non tallow based soaps, stuff from Vikings Blade, like their uh, Vikings Blade Sandalwood and Cedar, which really is, it's kind of like a slick, suf, 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 well, I can't remember what the name is now. But anyhow, it's you could try that. You could try, I mean, there's so much out there you can try, and just kind of working with some combinations, you're going to hit on something that just gives you a great shave. So really, it is a terrific uh, way to shave, and uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money initially to try it out. So look for that Gillette Super Speed. See if you got one, you know, in, in a relative's uh, old shaving gear, uh, or if you're in a yard sale or an estate sale, um, check it out. You might be able to pick one up for a couple bucks. If not, give the Weishi a try, and if you really like it, then you can move up to some of these other razors and the soaps and creams. A lot of different directions you can go in, but if you want to try it out and not spend a lot of money, you know, Weishi, Ivory 22, Arco Shave Stick, Pinot Clubman, boom, there you go. You're in at about 40 bucks and less than, and you're good to go and you can try it out. All right, hey, thanks very, very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to need a 1,000 subscribers soon because YouTube's changed their rules. They've moved their goalposts. Boy, if I don't get a 1,000 subscribers,
subscribers, I don't know how I'm going to be able to maintain this channel. So please share this video with others, others who might be interested in wet shaving. Share it, share it, share it, share it. And please subscribe. I'm really going to need those subscribers before February 20th. So if I can get up to 1,000 subscribers, boy, I'll, I will be very, very relieved. So please subscribe. Uh, and share it. Share it and subscribe. Really, thanks very much. And please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other videos like this, other cartoons, other videos like this, check out my blog. And I'll see you again. <laughs> I'll see you again real, real soon.